Hi students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about factoring by grouping. Alright, so we have here, for example, so factor the following completely. So for number 1, we have 3x squared minus 3x minus 36. So first, what we're going to do here is think of a number that can divide 3, 3, and 36. So what is the number that can divide 3, 3, and 36? So we have 3. Because 3 can divide 3, 3 can also divide 3, and 3 can divide 36. Okay? So next is to group okay, the factors. or So next is to group it. Okay? So 3, okay, 3 divided by 3, or oh, 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. Next, we have here negative, so put a negative sign. So, 3x divided by 3 is x. Next, negative 36. So, this is negative, so put negative. Negative 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, after that, we're going to factor this. Okay? So, again, write 3. And then, okay? So, what is the factor of x squared? So, the factor of x squared is x times x. Next, think of a number. If you multiply, the answer is negative 12. But, if we add them, the answer is negative 1. Okay? So, the factors of the factors of negative 12, it can be positive 3 times negative 4. Because ne positive 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. It can be negative 3 times 4. Because negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Next, it could be 1 times negative 12. Because 1 times negative 12 is negative 12. Next, it could be negative 1 times 12. Because negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. Next, it could be um, 2 times negative 6. Because 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Next, it could be negative 2 times 6. Because negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Right? So now, these are the factors of negative 12. Next is, if we add the factors... It should be negative 1. Okay? So, let's try. So, 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Next, negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. 1 plus negative 12 is negative 11. Negative 1 plus 12 is positive 11. 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. Negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. So, we need uh, we need the negative 1. So, the factors here that we will write is this 1. Because, if we have the factors, so we have negative 1. If we multiply them, this is negative 12. So, our factor here is plus 3. Since this is positive, and then negative 4. So, our final answer here is... 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 4. In number 2, we have 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. So again, think of a number that can divide 2, can divide 12, and can divide 18. So what is the least number that can divide 2, 12, and 18? So we have 2. Because 2 can divide 2. 2 can divide 12, and 2 can divide 18. Now, let's have a group side. The, uh, 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Plus, so, right, plus here, 12x divided by 2 is 6x, plus 18 divided by 2 is 9. 
Now, let's factor this term. So, 2, okay? So, let's factor. The factors of x squared is x times x. Now, again, so think of a number that if you multiply, the answer is 9, positive 9. And if we have them, the answer is positive 6. So, it could be 3 times 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. It could be negative 3 times negative 3. Because negative 3 times 3 is positive 9. It could be 1 times 9 because because 1 times 9 is equal to positive 9. And then it could be negative 1 times negative 9 because negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9. Okay? So next is add them. If we add the factor and the answer is positive 6, so that is our factors here. Okay? So 3 plus 3, 6. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. 1 plus 9, 10. Negative 1 plus negative 9 is negative 10. So, this is our factor since we get here the positive 6 on the middle term. So, we have positive 3 plus 3. So, our answer in number 2 is 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, for example, in number 3, so we have 18x squared plus 3x minus 15. Again, think of a number that can be 18, 3, and 15. So, what is the least number that can be by 18, 3, and 15? So, we have 3. Okay, so 18x squared divided by 3 is 6x squared. Next, 3x divided by 3 is x. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. So next, let's factor this. So we have 3. Okay, so what is the factors of 6x squared? Okay, so it could be x times 6x because 6x times x is 6x squared. Next, what is the factors of negative 5? So it could be negative 5 and positive 1 because 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. So to check out if this is correct, if this factor is correct, so we will use the FOIL method. So times 6x is 6x squared. Okay? x times 6x is 6x squared. And then our outer term times negative 5. So negative 5x. Our inner term 1 times 6x is positive 6x. And then 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. And then combine similar terms. So we have 6x squared. Negative 5x plus 6x is negative x bring down negative 5 they are the same with this one so our answer is correct so our final answer in number 3 is 3 times x plus 1 times 6 x 5 and that's how we end our lesson for today if you have more questions so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that's it bye bye